Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite manifesting tips. If you have been struggling to manifest or if you have been waiting for something to come into your life and you just feel like it hasn't or you feel like it's taken forever, then this is the video for you. Before I start, make sure you hit the like button and let's hop into the video. So the first tip that I'm going to share with you is to skip it. Now this doesn't mean give up. It actually means you're gonna try for something better. So for example, if you want a specific car or maybe you want a specific house or maybe you want a certain job or a specific person and you've been trying to manifest them into your life but you just feel like something isn't working, it's just not happening, maybe it feels like it's been too long and you're getting kind of frustrated and you almost like want to give up or you're just frustrated and you don't understand why, what you're gonna think in your mind this little trick I love to do is you're gonna say I'm gonna skip this one almost as if you're like on a game show and this is like one of the options and you're like you know what I'm gonna skip this one and see what's behind the next door or see what's inside the next box that comes along so if it's a person you're gonna think you know what I'm gonna skip this one I want someone a little bit better I want someone who is a better match for me and a better fit for me someone who maybe is more caring someone who is maybe more attractive Whatever qualities you like about this specific person, you're gonna think, you know what, I want someone who is more, someone who is better. So I'm gonna skip this one. And this happens all the time in life, naturally, even if it's not about the law of attraction. Or So as soon as you kind of realize, you know what, I actually deserve better, I actually want better, and I actually don't need anyone, and I don't need you, then they're gonna come chasing after you because that energy that you're putting out when you get into that state of mind, it's very attractive. It's a very confident energy. You're very sure of yourself and you know you can do better. You know that this is no big deal because you will always be able to do better. And that is so attractive to people and it's going to draw people to you and you're going to attract people to you. And at that point, you might not, like you might for real not even want the original person anymore. You might want the better options that come along. So this is a fun little little mindset to get yourself into and it works the same way with material things if you want a car if you want a job and for some reason there's just delays and you just think to yourself you know what i actually i want a better job like i deserve a better job than this so i'm just gonna pull back my energy and like see what happens and start looking for better jobs so then what happens is because you don't need it and because you're looking elsewhere you might even get a better offer and then you might even be able to use that better offer to counter offer the original one. And basically you might be able to just end up in a better place and get a better deal anyways. It generally works really well when you get yourself in a state of mind where you're like, wait, I deserve better, I deserve more, I don't need this. Because you're getting yourself out of that desperate energy where you feel like you need it, where you feel like you have to have it. And you're just being more rational. You're like, wait, I have options. I don't actually need anything. The next one is to think to yourself that this isn't actually a good time. So if it hasn't been happening, and if you've been really, really wanting it to happen, and you've been waiting around wondering like, is it ever going to happen? Maybe you're waiting for a person to finally like be with you. Or maybe you're waiting for this big dream to finally manifest. Maybe it's something in your career. Whatever it is, if it's been a while and it just feels like it's not happening and you're just getting so tired, just think to yourself, you know what, I don't think this is a good time for me. I don't think this is a good time for my manifestation to come. This is not the right time. I kind of want to delay it a little bit. And if you've ever been running late <laughs> to an event where you're supposed to meet your friends or whatever the event is, and you're secretly hoping and praying that they're also running late, but then of course that's the one day they'll show up 20 minutes early for no reason and that friend is always late, they never come early. <laughs> but because you were secretly hoping that they would be late that day and you were like really anxious about you being late yourself, so of course that's the one day they come early and like just make everything so much worse. It's similar to that. When you shift your energy and you think, you know what, I, I actually don't think this is a good time. Uh, if it came right now, it would be so stressful for me. I would have to do all this work and learn all of these new things. And I actually, I don't want it anymore. Or I don't want it right now, at least. 
So when you get into that mindset of almost being like, oh, it's not a good time for me, I don't want it right now, then of course it's gonna come right now. And again, just a really fun little trick to use if you're feeling like there's a time delay or if it's just been a really long time. And this works especially well with relationships. Whenever you take your attention off of a person and put it on other people or put it on yourself, or just spend more time with your dog, whatever it is, immediately they're gonna notice that shift and that change. And they're gonna ask you, hey, what's changed? Like, things are different, what's wrong? What's going on, what's happening? And you're gonna say to them, you know, now it's just not a really good time for me. I'm just so busy, I don't have time for you. And in doing that, again, you're exuding confidence and you're letting them know that you're a busy person. You have things going on in your life. You have a lot going on in your life. You have other people, other things to give your energy to and you don't need them and whenever that happens people tend to get really scared because then they start to panic and freak out that they're going to lose you and then they're going to come chasing after you so this works really really well and i've seen it happen in real life like countless times but the thing is most of the time the person who has the power to make it happen they're often too scared to do it. They're often too scared to pull back their own energy to focus on something else. But whenever things get frustrating or things aren't working out, it always helps to just take a break. It's like when you're working on a really difficult puzzle and you just can't figure it out. If you just go off, do something else, take a nap, whatever, do the dishes. When you come back to the puzzle, all of a sudden, it's so easy. It was right there the whole time. Why didn't I see it? And it's because you were tired and frustrated and you'd been looking at it for too long. You had been putting too much energy and too much focus into it for too long. And it was getting to a mental space that wasn't healthy for you and it wasn't gonna work out for you. So focusing on something else, putting your focus on something else will allow it to resolve itself. So that when you do finally come back to it, it's a solution or a resolution that you much prefer. This happens all the time at work with me. If there's a project or something going on where it's just getting to the stage where it's so frustrating, things are going horribly wrong, I like to just pull back and let it do its thing. And usually the next day, the next couple of days, it resolves itself, people calm down, things get sorted out. I always say things always work out in the end and sometimes if you're doing everything you can, if you've already done everything you can and it's still not working out, let it go. Let the universe resolve it for you. Let things work themselves out. Don't force it. If it's not working, forcing it makes it worse. But stepping back, pulling back your energy and allowing it to kind of do its thing. And then when you come back to it, one of two things will happen. Either you have a new perspective on it and you don't even want it to work out anymore or you don't even care if it works out anymore. Or you come back with a different perspective and everything has already worked itself out for you. So either way, it's going to be in your best interest to let go and just allow things to be for a bit. And the last one I want to share with you is to give the thing to someone else use the universe or use whatever higher power that you believe in. Sometimes when life gets really difficult, people will depend on their faith or rely on their faith. A lot of people will pray and just kind of ask for help. I think there's that saying, like, Jesus, take the wheel. So whether you're religious or not, sometimes it helps to just believe in a higher power than yourself. And what you can essentially do is ask for help and just let go. And just think to yourself, well, I already asked the universe for help, so... I can just let go now because the universe will take care of it. And you basically have to believe in that. And you have to believe in a higher power than yourself. You have to believe that this higher power is going to be more powerful and is going to be able to make this thing happen for you faster, quicker, more efficiently. <laughs> and in a way that is going to work out better than you even thought it would and it's a really good way for you to be able to let go because you're like well i already gave this task to someone i trust i already asked someone i trust to handle this so i'm not going to worry about it right now <laughs> and there's nothing i have to do and then you can relax again shift your energy and that is what makes things come into your life so much quicker. Okay, that's it for today's little video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with someone who might also find it to be impactful. And I will see you next time.